You have been waiting. No, no, wait. We have been waiting for that. Power Sequencer is compatible with Blender 2.8. Yes, finally. So it should be active here in the view, but I can show you that the add on is working. The only thing that's not working right now is the auto updater. We've got to fix that. It's still not released, right? We have some bug fixing to do. But you can already cut, trim stuff, and you can use most of the features, really, the quick shortcuts to duplicate things together. You can use um, this one to add crossfades. You can delete crossfades. You can move them around instantly. All the good things that Power Sequencer does to make your life easier. Editing videos in Blender now available in Blender 2.8. Um, so, if you want to test that, you have to go to GitHub, link in the description, and you will have to get the download from uh, this. You will have to clone the repository or download the zip file and import it in Blender 2.8 right now for testing, just so we can report some bugs and fix them there are already a few that I reported here. I think, yeah, we have five here. Um, and please, if you can do that, and if you want to edit videos with Blender 2.8, which has a really nice interface, as you can see, go on the GitHub page. You can download Power Sequencer, play a bit with it, and so whenever you find a bug, new issue, you can give us a description of what's happening and more importantly, try to share a screenshot of errors you can see like that. So on Linux, you can do shift print screen in most distros, at least in Ubuntu, and you can drag around the error to copy it and report it to us so that we can improve power sequencer for you and for everyone. So this one bug has been reported already and we're going to fix it. But as soon as we are done with that, uh, we are going to release the next version of Power Sequencer. Also, on the Issues tab, I will link in the description below. We have two discussions open. The future of Power Sequencer and trying to get sense for which features people use or don't use in the add-on. To simplify the add-on and really focus on video editing. Note that beyond that, we are looking to contribute the add-on to Blender itself. We are in touch with the maintainer of Blender 2.8. We're going to see if you know if if it's something that the Blender team wants, and if so, uh, it might ship with Blender in a future version. But that said, I want to thank you kindly for watching. Be creative, have fun and enjoy video editing with Power Sequencer in Blender 2.8.